Void868, be back again. Well, what we learned with my hydrogen Pacheco generator is we started out with 8 by 12 inch plates, stainless steel tank. I'm not sure what he used for a uh, permeable separator. I used plastic canvas and it did increase the production of uh, hydrogen. You can pick it up in any hobby store. But uh, what we found was is wasn't making a volt and a half. And so I stepped it up to a 8 by 18 inch plate. And still no volt and a half. So I took the little plates, put them in the big tank. Still no volt and a half. Well, finally, after about five months, you go back and reread all three of his patents. Yep, guess what? It's a super saturated salt solution. If you put in five and a half ounces of salt in regular tap water, guess what? It works. One and a half volts. Well, for personal reasons, and we didn't get to finish it. But we were up to the point to where I was ready to build a second tank with 8 by 18 plates in it. And I noticed that on the top of uh, Pacheco's patent, I think there's a Rosetta Stone. Up at the top you've got a drawing of two aluminum plates in a separate tank that you can take the electricity from the other four with the magnesium and aluminum in it and run it through them get more hydrogen well the scale is three to one so I think if you have the production like I say didn't get to finish it but uh, an 8 by 24 series of plates uh, would be a three to one expansion off those aluminum ones on top uh, Impco Carburetors says that there's uh, they can make a kit to work that goes as uh, low as 1 PSI. 5 is better, 20 is preferable. So 524 or 527 liters a minute is not the critical factor. It is the fact that you need to get that kind of pressure. Uh, Pacheco on his original one that he ran in the Pinto the Water Fuel Museum had an interview with one of his neighbors on their podcast, James Van Hooker from uh, the same town Pacheco was in in New Jersey. Him and his son went down and rode in the car during the first energy crisis. And what Pacheco used as an intermediary storage device was a uh, truck inner tube. Huh? Pretty simple. This is what we're looking for. Simple. Does it work? Yeah okay it's not fancy so you can work around that but uh, you don't know till you try uh, you need to uh, modify Pacheco's design by on the side view of the patent it only shows two tubes in between the tanks you need four with only two on the ends but you have to keep it mixed up or the pH goes out of whack it goes down doesn't work good you need to uh, keep the temperature between 90 and 100 degrees, 110 for max production. Uh, you need to uh, have your recirculating pump not only to keep it mixed for the pH, but to keep the salt suspended. And just a multitude of other things. If there's anything I can help you with but that I've got an answer for you, let me know. But remember, if you see the hydrogen pacheco generator on some other website touting a product it's a hoax I never got mine finished I know it will run a car it's just a matter of we got a volt and a half we just had to work for production thanks for watching these bye